Look at my A1. I don't think I've had my gear that dirty. Look at this, it's insane. We're facing something actually really difficult. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Almost stuck. Oh my God. Oh, I got so scared. Dead. Don't try to come here without a 4x4 car. It's starting to pop in the sky. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we really need to make it. And honestly, it's super stressful. Now, I think the hardest part for anyone who has a camera is gonna be to rinse it. So. Good morning everyone! Hope you're having a beautiful day and you're ready because last year I got stuck with a van in this riverbed trying to go take a photo at the Temple of the Sun and the Moon. There's something specific in mind I want to share with you and it didn't work out. So this year I'm coming back with a film camera but most importantly with this epic van that is completely ready for off-roading. Got a, little, a few friends with me also so I want to kind of take you on that adventure because photography is not just about taking the photo it's about the whole process of going to create the image that you have in mind we're being surrounded by storms and i don't know if we're gonna make it all the way hopefully this van will make it but honestly utah can be pretty wild especially during the storm seasons so if you're ready let's get started and i'm gonna give you a little van tour and all the gear that i'm taking for this trip Photography van tour, just for you guys. First, I have my Konica C35 with a black and white Il Ford ISO 400 film. Um, here, we've got the backpack and inside my backpack for this trip, I have the Sony A1 with the 2470 GM2. I've got my GoPro, I've got uh, 85 1.8 and also, we've got a 21.8, which should be helpful for some astro. In terms of amenities, so we have a little sink, a fridge right here that we already filled up with some food, induction stove. It's actually a full shower and toilet, but we use it as storage right now, okay? So this is kind of our storage area. Then driving panel, chilling, and here is a bed. But the really cool thing here is that you can make the, the bed go up and down just like that. And that is, in my opinion, really nice. And now we have Jerome. How are Hello. you feeling? Good. Better than last year. More confident than last year. Do you think we're gonna make it? Yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna be intense. Yeah. The weather is like, is like weird for the next two days. So let's see what we can do. Let's get to the spot. Vamos. Uh oh, is this the end? I mean, we can make it. Now we're facing something actually really difficult. Look at this. Jérôme, how does it look? Doesn't look good. Yay, we made it. Wow, okay, just made it. Temple of the Sun, Temple of the Moon. So the plan is scout and then decide what shot we're gonna take sunset nighttime i want to get the moonrise and then also sunrise <laughs> All right, weather update. The sky is absolutely not popping. There's not a single call right now. It's not looking great. As you can see, we've been waiting for a while. I don't know if anything's gonna happen. Do you think we're even gonna see the moon? It's, look, I don't think nothing. so. We thought third time was the charm, but looks no. like it isn't. Dude, sunrise? Sunrise. Okay, it's sunrise. Uh, there is a chance it pops a little bit. Uh, I think we're gonna hike up to a point where we went last night. That way we get a view on the temple moon, the sun, and we get a view on the sunset colors, if anything happens. Honestly, if there is one chance that it works and we don't take it, we're gonna feel terrible for the rest of the day. Jérôme, ready to go? I'm gonna take the chance. Let's go. Oh, 
Ooh, okay, the colors are starting to pop in the sky. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we really need to make it to a point where we can see both Temple of the Sun and the Moon. So I'm gonna try to take a few photos on the way with the 2470 and the A1. How do I do that with one hand? There we go. But the sky is beautiful. I love taking photos of just sky texture sometimes. That way you can sky replace. No, I'm joking. Who does that? No, I'm joking. A lot of people do it, I've done it, but I can't do it for my artwork. This is the line I've drawn. It's like my artwork is has to be exactly how I saw it, at least for the biggest elements. Maybe ma masking or making something go out, you know, like someone's arm or something is fine. If it's like having the frame, but I want everything to be as much as possible. Like it was in reality. Okay, things are getting really tight here. There may be just half a second window before the sun pops back into the clouds over there. And honestly, it's super stressful. I kind of know what I want. I want that shot, but uh, we just need the cloud coverage to be slightly higher so we get a little bit of a window. Uh, this is really frustrating. We had a one in a million chance that the sun was gonna pop in that window in the sky and it did not. This is the third time we tried to come here, right? First time was with my wife, it was too far, we didn't have the car. Second time we got stuck in the river with Alex and Jerome and it was absolutely insane. We could have literally lost the, the van there in there. And the last one is now we made it. But none of the conditions are working with us. So this may be a mystery that I'm gonna have to come back to. Maybe there is a rite of passage that you need to go through to be accepted into those who take great photos of this place. So now Jerome's playing with compositions over there. It's kind of cool, you get something like that when you shoot through it, it's nice. You know what's funny guys, is when I actually left my lens cap uh, or removed it with my mouth just earlier in the video, I actually forgot it on the ground. Uh, I thought it was funny, but now it's actually lost on the ground. So I'm gonna go find it because I don't want to leave it here. So I've been having Jerome look for my lens cap and it turns out that I did pick it up and it was in my jacket. Oops, <laughs> sorry Jerome. Man, I'm not happy on this guy anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> We've been looking for how long? Like 20, 25 minutes? No, five minutes. <laughs> no. Look, we've only been going down for 40 minutes, 45. That was really slow. We went up in five frame minutes. Frame to try to identify which one of these bushes it was and it turns out it was in your pocket. Well, the most important is not to leave trash behind. And we found it, so we're good now. All right, the sun is popping through some clouds. So it means we're actually getting some light on the temple of the sun and the moon. I was literally ha having breakfast. So we may try to get some uh, some cool road shots right here. Let's see how it's gonna go. Okay, so this is the first frame we're gonna take. We're gonna take it from here. We kind of have the van in the background. My only grip is that it gets a little compressed against it. So I think we'll move the van over there to get the S-curve. So we're gonna try a few compositions. I think one a little like tight, like this. I'm shooting at 2 height, hoping to create some separation with the van and the mountain, but I doubt it's gonna happen. But let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna take a few more wider also. All right guys, this is a little tough. The light went out again. Oh, it looks great, but damn, the, the sky is it's just not it. So let's see, I'll give him a sign to, to start driving in a second and let's see how we can do this. Woo! All right, I think this will be a better shot right here. We have the S-curve in the shot. Uh, we have the mountain. Definitely not the light that would be the most epic, but. I think it's gonna work. We'll have Jerome drive by. I'm gonna ha ask him to like stick his head out of the window. That should be pretty fun. Okay, let's try. What do you guys think? 
Honestly, I think it was a really interesting session. Uh, definitely conditions not like we expected. We did take some fun shots just of us and in the middle of that road, but for that landscape shot, I think you really needed that epic light or something to make it special. I was hoping to work with the, the weather on that one, but even now, you know, it's not like it's clearing up and we could be like, hey, let's stay another night because it's clearing up. It's not really clearing up. So it's gonna be a little tough. Are you happy though with what we got? Uh, Honestly, the light could have been better, obviously, in the beginning, especially this morning and last night. But ultimately, I did get one cool shot over here because the light was kind of good for like maybe five minutes. So yeah. at least I'm not going back empty handed. At least we got one shot. That's true. Yeah, it was like a literally a few seconds of yeah. good light. It changed in like, yeah, literally a few seconds. <laughs> Let's see if we can find another spot on the way. Uh, maybe some other cool stuff to shoot. Let's see how it goes. Was stuck. Oof. Oh my god. Oh, That's I got so scared. <laughs> Don't try to come here without a 4x4 car. Alright, part of documenting adventures also means documenting the way you get there, and I'm kind of trying, if possible, oh, oh, oh my god, to get a shot of the van driving full speed in the mud right here and I'm kind of curious to see if it's gonna work I may get fully 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 full of mud but we'll see okay let's go oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> um, Houston, we have a problem. I just have one hope, is that I got the shot. Oh my gosh, shoot. All right, I was just saying, when you adventure, you need to also document when you're adventuring. So look at my A1, I think I was a little close, but I didn't get the shot. I actually stopped the burst when I got splashed. So I, I think we need to do it again. I think the camera will be fine. I'll rinse it after. I mean, let's try again. Come on. This time I'm going to use clean glasses. That way I can uh, protect my eyes. We're going to try the same and I'm really going to make sure to hammer the burst. I didn't get the shot I wanted. Well, oh, this is a little intense. I don't think I've had my gear that dirty. Look at this, it's insane. Now, I think the hardest part for anyone who has a camera is gonna be to rinse it. So, let's just pray, pray it works, okay? Am I still dirty? <laughs> a little bit. How is the camera? I think the camera is gonna be fine, but I just need to uh, dry the hot shoe mount after. Should be good. Oh la 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 la. It's a little scary, but it's better than to leave all this on, on the camera usually. I will say, honestly, I'm bummed that I didn't get the shot for being that dirty, honestly, but I guess we got some adventure. You know, you see those shots like with the rally and stuff, and I always wonder how to get it. Maybe not like that. I managed to take a shower, remove the bud. We tried again on another spot that didn't... I mean, it, it's cool, but it's not like as epic as I wanted.
Whew. Weather update. We are literally facing a river crossing right now. And it's a little intimidating because this is not just a little river crossing. Look at this. This is what we're talking about. Someone else coming through. Let's see how it goes. The guy said it should be absolutely fine to go through. I'm letting you do it, but okay. I know I'm scared. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Go slow down. Oh my God. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, we made it. We made, we made it. it. Ah. <laughs> That's crazy! But that gave me a little bit of adrenaline rush, I will say that. Uh, <laughs> but I think this would be a really good photo if we took photos of like the van crossing. But I don't want to do it again. Woo! Alright guys, after a lot of driving in those dangerous roads, we did, made a decision we're gonna try Lower South Cathedral Valley. Show them what do you think. Yeah, I think there's a cool overlook over there. And there's actually a path that leads all the way down. So once we get down, we might have a better view and understanding of what we could potentially shoot. So Jerome told me confidently that he knew the way down. Look at this, guys. So the, the wall over there, there's actually a passageway that leads. Okay, you can see the path over there that goes down. It goes around and it goes down that way. So the beginning of the trek is that way. So follow me, guys. That looks really big and vast, but... Okay, we'll try. Wow, look at this, bro, it's insane. We made it to the spot and we had no clue what it would be like and how far. And it's been one hour and 50 minutes. Every time it wouldn't work, we'd be like, okay, a little bit further, maybe the next hill, the next hill. And it's definitely a spot that requires some dedication right here. I'm gonna go take shots a little bit from lower angle and see how it's gonna look. You see with the, the peak in the background. We are just praying for that giant cloud in the background to move a little bit to the side so we can get some direct light shots again. Wow, worth it. Jerome, cheers. Boom. Successful mission. We never thought we would come here. It took us two hours to hike and just so yeah. worth it. I mean, when the light came back, it yeah. was like this giant triangle. It was so pretty. It I looked almost... like the savannah, like this whole place was Yeah, boring. Guys, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. We'll see you in the next episode. Whoosh.